Our story begins in the great Pacific Ocean. Three men are floating in a lifeboat. One of the men dies and the others throw him overboard. In the distance, one of the men, Andrew, spies an island, so he grabs an oar and rows towards it. The boat reaches shore, and as Andrew brings Charlie ashore, he tells him that they made it. Andrew lays Charlie down and searches for water. Some mysterious shadows hover over Charlie, and he's dragged away through the scrub. Andrew sees that he's being followed and runs back to find his companion, but in his haste, he falls into a trap. Andrew regains consciousness in a bed, where a man named Montgomery says good morning to him and tells the mute manservant named M. Ling to fetch the doctor. Montgomery tells Andrew that Charlie is dead and buried, and that he's lucky to have survived. Andrew then reveals that he's been adrift for 17 days and nights. His ship sank during a storm. Montgomery explains to him that they're exactly 1,000 miles from nowhere. Dr. Moreau walks in and introduces himself as the man that owns this establishment. Montgomery manages it on his behalf. He says that he's been there for 11 years and continues to say that he finds it astonishing how the flesh reasserts itself. Andrew gets out of bed and puts on a shirt. As he looks down, he notices a young woman named Maria, who Montgomery informs him belongs to Dr. Moreau. Andrew and Dr. Moreau discuss her beauty and where she came from. Dr. Moreau warns him not to leave the compound after dark. At dinner, Andrew discusses the enormous advances in technology since the others left civilization. Maria later tells Andrew that there was no one on the island before Dr. Moreau. He brought everyone here. Maria goes to bed and Andrew hears a strange creature howling. He goes to investigate and finds himself in a library. As he looks at a book, he's caught by Dr. Moreau, who shows him a collection of animal embryos. He explains at this stage that they all look the same, but the final creature is something quite different. He muses how they become slave to a predestined form. And can we change that destiny? The following day, Andrew's examining the lifeboat when Maria arrives walking a wild cat. It runs and they chase it. While searching, Andrew finds M. Ling drinking from a pool of water. M. Ling runs when he realizes that he's being watched. Maria suddenly appears with the cat, having found it. Andrew shows her that he also found her scarf while searching. Later that night, Andrew takes a drink from Montgomery and asks him about how he saw M. Ling drinking. Montgomery brushes it off as a local custom. Andrew is awoken the next day by the sound of Dr. Moreau and Montgomery bringing a chained creature indoors. Andrew recognized it as M. Ling, and he asked Dr. Moreau what happened to him. Dr. Moreau claims not to know, but Andrew demands to know what he's done to him. Dr. Moreau claims to be helping him. Andrew goes to the beach and brings his lifeboat in to keep it safe from the tide. He spots another creature in the distance and starts to follow it. There appear to be more, and Andrew is chased through the wilderness. Finally, he runs into Dr. Moreau and Montgomery. He furiously asks what they were, but is instructed to return to the compound. Upon his return, he enters a room to find some caged animals. At the end of the room is a laboratory. Another cage is empty, but he finds Maria's scarf nearby. Under a blanket, he finds a creature with beast-like hands. As he uncovers the head, it growls at him. Dr. Moreau enters, and Andrew asks what it is. Dr. Moreau tells him it's a bear and explains that he's discovered a cell particle that controls the shape of life. He is treating this creature with a serum that can control the biology of any creature. In this case, he should be able to get it to resemble a human being. As he injects the serum into the bear, Dr. Moreau explains that the possibilities for humankind are endless. Maria comes to Andrew's room and tries to seduce him. She's successful. Dr. Moreau is watching from below. The following day, Andrew goes to see Dr. Moreau, who tells him that all of the house servants are animals. He takes a bear man from a cage and stands him in front of a real bear. The bear eyes the bear man suspiciously before the bear starts to lick him. Dr. Moreau cracks a whip to split them up and tells Andrew to fetch Montgomery. Dr. Moreau yells at the bear man that he's human. Andrew grabs a rifle and leaves the compound to search for more of the creatures. He enters a cave to find several of the creatures. They advance on him. One old man speaks and tells the others that he's a man like them, but like them, he must learn the law. The old man recites the law to Andrew. 
You must not walk on all fours. You must not eat flesh. You must not shed blood. Andrew is attacked by a creature and is about to use the rifle to retaliate when Dr. Moreau arrives and restores order. He tells them that the law has been broken and the offending creature must return to the house of pain. Dr. Moreau tells the other creatures that Andrew is in charge of them, the same as Dr. Moreau himself. Back in the compound, Andrew tells Dr. Moreau that these creatures are human enough to have feelings and he wants no part of this. Dr. Moreau tells him that a supply ship will arrive in two years time, so he'll have to remain with them if he wishes to survive. He goes on to tell him that the creatures almost always revert back to their primal forms, but he believes that one day he will succeed. When they return to their primal form, the creatures regain the memory of the pain that they felt in the compound. They will fear the place and become vengeful killers of humankind. Dr. Moreau is called by Montgomery and he takes Andrew to see the creature that attacked him in the cave. It is returned to the cave, having been returned to its human form. Andrew is working on the lifeboat and tells Maria that it's almost repaired. They can soon leave together and look for a ship to return them to England. Maria says that she cannot live anywhere else but the island as it's the only place she knows. Out in the wild, a bull man attacks and kills a tiger. As Andrew returns, Dr. Moreau tells him to come with them and they search for the bull man. Andrew finds the injured bull man in so much pain that he begs to be killed. Andrew gets out his gun and shoots him dead. Dr. Moreau, Montgomery, and the rest of the creatures arrive and see Andrew with the gun in his hand. The body is taken to the beach and floated out to sea on a burning funeral pyre. The creatures then return to the compound to demonstrate their anger towards Andrew, who has broken the law. Andrew prepares to leave the island, but Dr. Moreau suddenly appears in his room and injects him with the serum. Dr. Moreau tells Maria that she cannot understand, but she begs him not to let Andrew suffer. Andrew's been tied up, and Dr. Moreau explains that the serum he injected will make him become an animal and he can describe that experience to Dr. Moreau. The following day, Andrew awakes and sees that he's starting to change. His screams wake Montgomery, who demands that he be released, but Dr. Moreau shoots him. The creatures watch from outside. Dr. Moreau puts Montgomery's body into a cage, but that night, his body is put outside and taken away by the creatures. They are confused that Dr. Moreau tells them to kill others. After two days, Dr. Moreau delivers a cage of rats for Andrew to eat, but Andrew cannot bring himself to do so. He refuses to forget his humanity. The creatures head toward the compound and Dr. Moreau rides out to see them. He cracks his whip, but is unable to hold them off. The creatures surround and attack him, claiming that there is no law. Maria has helped Andrew to escape from his cage, and although he tries to tell the creatures that he's the same as them, he's forced to shoot at them to make them retreat. Maria closes the gate as Andrew stands over Dr. Moreau's body. Dr. Moreau calls him an animal before he dies. Andrew addresses the creatures, telling them that Dr. Moreau is not dead and they should obey his law. Nevertheless, the creatures attack the compound and release the caged animals. Andrew, Maria, and M. Ling watch as the animals attack the creatures and many are killed. Seizing their opportunity to escape, the three try to leave but are pursued by a lion. M. Ling turns back and decides to buy others time to escape. Andrew and Maria run to the lifeboat and push it out. They're followed by one of the creatures who pulls Andrew into the water. They fight, but eventually, Andrew's able to overcome the creature using the boat pedal. The compound burns and the structure collapses as Andrew and Maria leave the island. The lifeboat is floating again in the middle of the ocean. The effects of the serum have worn off and Andrew has returned to normal. In the distance, a ship comes in the view and Andrew calls out for rescue. Maria watches on, although her eyes are distinctly feline. If you want to watch more on Movie Shortens, click on our next videos and playlists on the screen. Thanks for watching.